Here we go, continuing our journey into all the ways the GED could throw slope at you. So let's take a look at this. It says, what is the slope of the line containing the points 5, 4 and negative 1, 4? And again, we've been asked to find slope. And once again, we've been given two points. Now the easiest way to find slope when given a points is to use the slope formula. The slope formula is located on the GED formula sheet in the bottom third with the other algebra formula formulas. And when you look it up and you look up that slope formula, you'll see this M equals, we use the letter M to represent slope. Y2 minus Y1. If you look at the difference between the two Y values, you'll be looking at your uh, vertical change how much your line went up and down over x2 minus x1. Again, if you take the difference between your two x values, you're looking at your change of x, how much your line ran, we often call it. And you can see this is just rise over run mathematically. Now let's plug into this sucker. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, let's call this my first point, my point one. If this is my first point, and remember that a point is an x value and a y value, it's always in that alpha order, then that's going to be x1, the first x, and y1, the second, or the first y. Ooh, I don't know why I said second. I wrote it right. The first x value and the first y value will be there. And we'll call this one point two. So this one will be, this is an x, so it'll be the second x, and this is a y, so it'll be the second y. And now we can plug into our formula. We take the second y first, so that's four. And we subtract the first y, and that's also a 4. Then we'll take the second x, which is a negative 1. And from that, we'll subtract the first x, which is a 5. Now, 4 minus 4, of course, is 0. And negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. But I have something important to say. If you have a 0 on the top of a fraction, It doesn't matter what you're dividing by, whether it's a positive number or a negative number, it's a fraction or it's a decimal. If you take the number zero and you divide by anything, it's like you have no money and you're going to share it negative six times. So it's a little silly to think about sharing something negative six times. But it doesn't really matter how many times you share zero things, uh, you're always going to have zero. So zero divided by anything is zero. So we can see that this is a must be one of our horizontal lines. It has a slope of zero. Now, be careful because the zero in the numerator is not the same as the zero in the denominator. Um, very next a problem we're going to look at is what happens when there's a zero in the denominator. But when it's in the numerator, when it's on top, my slope is just zero.